write a truth table for this compound statement. So as you can see, there are two different statements, P and Q, and there are a bunch of logical connectives that create this molecular statement. So when you have two atomic statements, then you're going to write two columns for your truth table, P and Q. So there are four possibilities for these atomic statements. Either they're both true, one is true and the other is false. We can flip the order, or they're both false. Okay, so let's build this compound statement. How are we going to do that? Well, let's see how these atomic statements are connected. Here we have a P and Q, for example. So let's write P and Q. What does P and Q look like according to this truth table? Well, if they're both true, then P and Q is true. Otherwise, P and Q is false. We could do the same thing for P or Q. P or Q is true if at least one of P or Q is true. So the only time this is false is when P and Q are both false. So how do we build this entire molecular statement or this compound statement? How do we include these two operations? Well, we can start with this negation because the negation is applied before this or operation. And you can think of this kind of like in terms of PEMDAS. The negation is applied to this parentheses before this or statement is recognized. So let's take a look at what not P and Q looks like. So to figure this out, we just have to take this row and negate everything. So we can see from T, that would become an F. And likewise, we flip all the other symbols. Now we're almost done. Let's see what happens when we combine these two statements with an OR operation. I'm going to use green. So we're comparing this column with this column. And there's an OR statement connecting those two. And so this column is going to be true whenever at least one of these columns is true. So here, because this is true, then the whole thing is true. The next row is true because they're both true. And from here, we can see that this is true because the second column is true. So this is always true. And we already know what this is called. This is a tautology. This is called a tautology because every single one of these is true. No matter what the truth values of P and Q are, this statement is going to be true. And we call this a tautology. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.